ready to be praised. Jesus, I Thank you, Jesus. Glory and honor. Jesus' name we praise. We give you all the glory, Lord, as we gather from across the length and breadth of this land. We worship you and we thank you for everyone who has given up of their time, of their evening, uh, of their of their precious um, uh, uh, moments to be with us and to glorify and exalt you in the company of so many wonderful brothers and sisters across this land that are joining us virtually from different parts of the world and different parts of the family of nations. Um, if you've not yet released your greetings, you can bring your greetings. Um, you can put your greetings into the group chat. We welcome all of you that are joining us on YouTube and on Facebook and maybe on X as well. We'd ask you to put your greetings into the group chat on the platform of your choice. Just release and tell us where you're, where you're logging on from. Tell us your name if you want to. And thank you for joining us tonight as we come before the Lord to give him praise and to glorify his name. We, we thank God for Easter. This is, this, is, this is the Easter weekend as we prepare ourselves this Holy Week to glorify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and to recognize what the cross has done for us and the completion of our salvation as we celebrate Easter and from tomorrow all through this weekend. Father, let the cross, hallelujah, be exalted over this land. Let Easter, let the meaning of Easter, hallelujah, spread across this land in the name of Jesus. Let the United Kingdom encounter Easter, encounter the cross, encounter the gospel in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we just unmute ourselves and let's just declare that over the land, that this land will, will have an understanding of the true meaning of Easter and encounter Easter. Thank you, in jesus name we pray um i need at least two people or three at the most 
Um, if you don't mind, just raise your detailed hand. If you just want to round up that prayer over the land, over the United Kingdom, oh dear. that the meaning of Easter will spread across this land and everyone will hear the message one way or the other as the, as the, as the message of Easter, hallelujah, permeates and breaks through in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask our sister Uche and then followed by um, um, Richard and Rachel to round up that prayer. And lastly, Mavis. I'm not going to call anybody after Mavis. So thank you. And um, this three. Um, so Uche and um, Richard, uh, Rachel and Mavis. Lord, we give you praise. We bless your holy name. We thank you for your word, Lord God, your word, which never returns unto you void. And you have said, Lord, that the knowledge of the Lord shall fill all the earth as the waters cover the sea. We thank you, Lord, that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to everyone, every nation. It shall go forth. It shall spread, Lord God, like that little um mustard seed that was planted and then grew into a mighty tree and the birds of the air came and nested in it so shall your word go forth lord god from the east to the to the west from the north to the south right across the this this nation lord god to the uttermost parts of it and people will hear the joyful sound people will see that jesus is lord we thank you that as you're lifted up, Lord God Almighty, you will draw all men to you. We bless you for the harvest. We thank you for, because you are faithful to your word. And we bless you that we have the privilege of seeing it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, uh, Uche. And now we'll go to Richard and Rachel in mm -hmm. Wales. Yes, Father, we raise our voices to you with excitement and with expectation, because when your word comes down from heaven, people are stopped in their tracks without knowing why. Mm -hmm. They just turn and know this is a sound I need to hear. Mm -hmm. And your word does not fall empty. It is absolutely amazing and it draws people to it. People who are they're not necessarily Christians or aware mm -hmm. of within themselves but suddenly when they hear the creator god speak through through anybody who's in the spirit truly mm -hmm. they say hey this is what i was born for and they speak the probably the first words of truth mm -hmm. and the beginning of the rest which is to follow for so god is ready he is absolutely ready and lord you don't waste words when you speak. You do speak. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Amen. Thank you, Richard. Amen. God bless amen. you. Um, I'm going to go amen. to Mavis, uh, last but not the least. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for your love for, 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 the, for the nations, for the whole world. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your grace. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, we lift you up. Yes, Lord. Tomorrow is a day where, where people are remembering your death on the cross for us, Lord Jesus. As we remember this significant day, we pray for an outpouring of your spirit. Yes, Lord. Uh, into the hearts of people. Yes, Lord. Uh, we pray, Lord, for a revelation of your love, yes, Lord, hallelujah, into the hearts of people, yes, Lord. Lord, we pray as the church, yes, Lord, evangelizing the communities, yes, Lord, hallelujah, that your spirit, yes, Lord, will move and touch the hearts of people to receive the good news of your, of your love, your unconditional love for us, yes, Lord, hallelujah. We pray in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, hallelujah, the hearts will be softened, yes, Lord, hallelujah, to receive you, yes, Lord, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. Lord, we pray tomorrow for an encounter of your spirit, for people to have a supernatural encounter with you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. We pray that your word, yes, Lord, hallelujah, will reach out because your word is powerful. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Your Amen. word is sharper than a two-edged sword. Yes, Lord, it penetrates the bones and the arrows and it changes attitudes. Your word is like fire. It breaks chains. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. So we pray that in the name of Jesus, as your word is preached, yes, Lord, hallelujah, it will touch the hearts of your children, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray as your church your church gather tomorrow, yes, Lord, hallelujah, there will be an outpouring, a supernatural outpouring of your spirit, yes, Lord, on your children, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Let us see a different a different meaning, yes, Lord, of you, Lord Jesus. Let us, let us understand the deeper, a deeper revelation of your love for us, yes, Lord, hallelujah. So, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Be exalted tomorrow. Be lifted up in all areas, in all nations, in all in all places. Be lifted up, yes, Lord. You said if we lifted you up, uh, you hallelujah. will draw all men unto Amen. us, unto you, yes, Lord, hallelujah. As we lift you up, Lord Jesus, uh, by the power of your Holy Spirit, draw men unto you, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Draw men unto you, Lord Amen. Jesus. Lord, hallelujah. Because you are a good God. You are a faithful God. A God who loves us beyond our comprehension. We can never understand this depth of your love for us. So Lord, uh, reveal to us, yes Lord. Reveal to your people. Reveal to your children. The word of God says you love the world. That you died for us. Amen. Amen. Maybe it's, I God bless you. I know you can continue to pray for us and continue to pray for us. God bless you as you continue to just pray for us. And we thank God for the message of Easter. And we just want to welcome every single person. Thank you for joining us tonight. And thank you for logging us, logging on for the, this 45 minutes. And we just want to appreciate every single one of you and your time. <clears throat> Before I go into uh, one or two very key crucial things, um, I just wanted to bring um, greetings um, or report back from from Rotherham, I'm going to, I've not asked, I've not mentioned this to him already, but I, I think I saw Adrian. Um, Adrian, if you're on the on the call, could you just unmute yourself? If you don't oh, mind, I can I can highlight you. Um, hi. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can. Hi, Adrian. How you doing, my friend? Um, so we we were together um in Rotherham over the weekend. And yes. by the time I got back, we, I mean, the team said over 100 people registered to fast and pray. That is right. amazing. Can you give yes. a feedback report from what happened over the weekend at your church, Liberty Church, and the group of churches that came together on, on Sunday? Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, so we're based in Rotherham. Uh, we have um, five services on the Sunday across four different locations, all within Rotherham, all within about 10 miles of each other. And um, we all came together uh, to uh, have a united celebration uh, and just sort of um, seek the Lord together and pray together and worship together. And it was just a great time of celebration. Uh, but uh, I came to the three-day fasting and prayer conference in Northampton and just really felt that Jonathan was carrying something special and we also uh, are anointing and a message from the Lord that I felt our church needed to hear. And he came and he just shared his heart and he just talked about that, the, the call of God and the Gideon call and the, the just desire to um, seek the Lord and to fast together. And um, there was just an amazing response from the church. Um, we have our prayer meetings. We have an early morning prayer Zoom on Tuesday morning at 6 a.m., uh, but just the hunger for prayer and the hunger to see God's face just blew me away. So as a pastor, you always hope and you wish things were better and you pray, but just God stirred people's hearts. There was a fantastic sense of God's presence in the place. Just the atmosphere was electric with his presence and the convicting power of the Holy Spirit was just brilliant. And Jonathan shared his heart and so much that he said just resonated with the people. Uh, we have a very diverse culture, Africans, Asians, Eastern Europeans, Americans, uh, Brazilians. Uh, so the multicultural theme was really sort of brought out. 
and just an amazing response uh, from people. Yeah, so we've put in probably about 300 people in the service Sunday morning, and lots of them wanted to pray, but 100 signed up uh, to be part of that. Um, so we, we have uh, early morning Zoom now on Tuesday morning at 6, and we're getting about 30, 40 people every Tuesday morning to pray together at 6 a.m. Wow. So we really feel this is just um, an exciting season as we prepare ourselves for the next stage in our journey. Uh, we're planting four more churches next four years, uh, and uh, we know that everything successful is birthed in prayer. <laughs> uh, nothing happens without prayer and without seeking his face. So we are so grateful for Dr. Jonathan to bring um, uh, his heart. And afterwards, we had a, a fellowship meal together. 250 people stayed for a meal after the service, and just great to have time of fellowship. And Jonathan just chatted with some of our key leaders, which was brilliant. So... So we really set up for uh, what God's going to do next as you press Amen. into his presence. Amen. So thank, you. thank you. Amen. Amen. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, just using um, Liberty Church and a group of churches in, in Rotherham as a point of contact, I want us to pray that um, churches up and down the length and breadth of this family of nations will come together to hear the message of what God is saying by his spirit to the church now and embrace what heaven is saying and run with the spirit of revival, that the spirit, the church will be revived and that there will be many more um, Adrians and, and groups of leaders that uh, like Adrian that will steer the church to, to receive and embrace the message of what God is saying to the church right now. Can we just unmute ourselves and let's just pray. Let's just pray. I'm going to ask you, Adrian, to Adrian, to round up that prayer. But can we just unmute ourselves and just prophesy over the church? Hallelujah. That the church. Jesus name we pray. Uh, Adrian, do you want do you want to round up that that prayer for us, please? You can unmute yourself. Amen. Yeah, it was A.W. Toza that said that most revivals are birthed after midnight. And it's that moment when it starts to cost us to pray, when it costs us to seek his face, when we have to press in through the night, that, that those are the moments when God breaks in power. And I just sense that as the church is heeding and responding to the call of God to pray, there's going to be a breaking through of the enemy's stronghold of our nation. And as the church prays and seeks his face into the night, that's when we're both going to break out. So, Father, right now, we thank you, Lord God, that you are stirring your church, oh God, like you've never stirred it before, Lord God. There's a hunger in our hearts. There's a desperation in our hearts, oh God, for you to move in power, Lord. And we will not settle 
We won't settle until we have revival in our national guard. Lord, you say in your word, we'll not give ourselves any rest. We'll not give you any rest until we see your will established on the earth, oh God. So, Lord, we declare today that we are people who will press in, who will press, in, press into your presence, oh God, to seek your face. And as we do that, we believe, oh God, that the darkness will begin to shatter around us and your light will begin to shine more brightly in us and through us, oh God. Lord, the stirrings of revival will be heard in our land across the north, the south, the east and the west. And I pray, Lord, that where you gather your people together, Lord, where you gather the saints together, Lord, that unity will command your blessing, oh God. That unity will impart your heart and your vision for a broken and lost generation, oh God. And Father, as we pray into the night, as we seek your face, and we pay the cost of, of prayer, oh God, as we pay the cost of sacrifice, oh God. Lord, you'll break our empire, oh God, and we'll see the revival fires start to burn again across our land. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for coming on tonight, and thank you for inviting us to come to, um, to, to you. And I just want to appreciate every single one of you, despite the holidays. I know we've, we've kind of lost about almost 50 of our usual regulars that are not here tonight. But I just want to ask if there's anybody here for the first time. This is you've, you've signed on as a Gideon. It's your first time on being on the platform. Can you just raise your digital hand um, if, if that is you? You've, you've just signed up to start praying and fasting. And this is your first time joining us tonight on this platform can you just raise your digital hand? Not your physical hand, but your, your digital hand. Hallelujah. We just want to welcome you. We want to welcome you. That is Olua Tosi. I can see your hand. And then also Pearl, I can see you. You are all very welcome tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joshua, I can see you as well. Anyone else? Um, Titi Lola, um, Lan good we just want to just welcome this wonderful people and th thank you for joining the army of god who are standing in the gap to pray and to say we are going to pray through together we're going to fast together hallelujah we're going to we're going to break through together if there's anyone if today is your today is the 28th Today is the 28th. If, if today is your fasting day, can you raise your diesel hand as well? I want to add you to this group. If today, 28th, is your fasting day, just raise your digital hand and I'll add you um, to this group as well. Deborah, um, George, today is your fasting day. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ruth, hallelujah. Wouldn't you see today is your fasting day. God bless you as well. Thank God for every single one in Nena, hallelujah, is raising a digital hand as well. God bless you for joining us tonight, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for every single one of you. I'm just going to ask um, Joshua, Joshua, <laughs> if you can uh, unmute yourself, and I'm just going to ask Ruth, I want to see as well. I'm just taking one or two people, hallelujah. What, if this is your first time, where are you logging on from and why are you on tonight? Amen. Um, I'm logging from, hello, this is Joshua speaking. Yes. I'm calling from Watford. And, Watford. Okay. Yeah. And we uh, we heard about the National Day of Prayer and Worship uh, through uh, our WhatsApp group. We, we associated with Kiwi as well. Okay. And yes, we um, are part of the, part of the, Assemblies of God movement as well, and I'm leading a and part of the leadership of the church in, in Greenford, London. One fantastic. And we started to go out and do the shine your light as well the last, last December. Oh, yes, yes, yes. If you don't mind me asking, Joshua, because I can tell that your English is not your first language, where are you from originally? I'm from Peru. You're from Peru? Wow, yes, indeed. Wow, so what brought you to England? Wow, it's a wonderful question. I have um, I had heard the stories of revival, and uh, I've been studying. Well, I was uh, preparing myself for the ministry back in Peru, and I wanted to do a Bible school here in England. Wow! So I came to study English first, and then I went on to uh, 
study the um study the word of God in Bible so, Institute in London. Okay. So I did it at International Bible Institute of London in KT. And from then on, I started to help different churches around London. Wow. In Wembley and now uh, in Watford as well, and now back in in northwest London in Greenford. Okay, so is um Spanish or Portuguese your first Spanish. language? Spanish. Yeah, Spanish. Spanish is your first language. Well, Joshua from Peru, you are welcome and you are here because of revival and profoundly we embrace you. <laughs> I'm I'm from Nigeria as well. We embrace you as those from the global south and those from the from the from the continents that have come to England for such a time as this. So thank you for your heart for revival and the fact that you've come to London to learn the word of God and to be involved in the coming revival for these lands. You are so welcome. I'm going to ask Deborah to unmute herself. Sorry, I can't, I cannot unmute everybody. But Deborah, can you unmute yourself and tell us why you're here tonight and why today is your fasting day? If you can unmute yourself. Hi. Hello, Hi. everyone. Um, yeah. Um, sorry, I truly believe that. We can't hear you. You're, you're muted, Deborah. There's something wrong with your communication. If you can unmute yourself again. Is that better? Can you hear me now? Yes, better. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I'm absolutely convinced that the church of uh, our Lord's vision is beginning to rise um, worldwide um, and that we are going to see him move in power through it in a way that we've not seen before. Um, we're called to pray. We're called to fast. And there is strength in that because the, our Lord moves through our prayers um, in power. So. The more we give up, the more the more we give him, the the, the more power um, there is. So it's just it's such a privilege. It's such a privilege to to serve in this way, and I would just encourage everybody to keep going because God doesn't stop. God bless you. And where you where are you logging on from, Deborah? Uh, Richards Castle near Ludlow. Where is that, Ludlow? Oh Please. well. I'm I'm literally on the border between North Herefordshire and and right. Shropshire. All right, wow. So you are welcome, um, Deborah, and you're welcome, Joshua, Olua Tosi, Titi Lola, Ruth, Nena. You're also welcome, and Sister Pearl. You're all very welcome to on the platform tonight. And um, um, most of you, this is your first time, but I think one or two of you, this is your fasting day. I want us to. This is how we want us. I want us to pray. I want us to use Joshua Herrera as a point of contact. That these are the people that God has sent to this land from countries and nations and continents for such a time as this to lift up the hands of Moses, hallelujah, to act as assistants as we stand, as the indigenous um, church stands in the gap to give birth, hallelujah, to all that everyone at this time. We are going to see revival. We are going to see revival. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we just unmute ourselves and just declare that right now? Come on, let's just unmute ourselves Amen. and declare Amen. that right Amen. now. Amen. 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 is coming. Revival. 
and amen and amen um um i've just highlighted my sister jean black one of the ladies and people that i consider to be foremost intercessors in the in scotland this morning at 7 a.m um, Jean, I was invited to join 120 pastors and leaders from across your country, um, led by a gentleman called Peter Anderson. And they were praying and praying for revival. Fantastic um, reports of church growth, of um, church, church attendance doubling, and all sorts of wonderful things happening across um, um, Scotland. Hallelujah. And so, um, Jean, can you just uh, unmute yourself and just round up this prayer um, as we as we are declaring and holding on to heaven and you, you coming together in unity to say revival will happen. The church of the living God, hallelujah, will be revived in this nation. And this revival is going to spill out from the church into society. So, Jean, can you unmute yourself and just round up that prayer for us, if you don't mind, please? Hallelujah. I just wanted to use you as a point of contact for the churches in Scotland, as well as the churches across Ireland, Northern Ireland, England and Wales. Father, we thank you for the privilege that we can meet together and for Jonathan's vision for the UK. And Lord, we believe this weekend as your word is preached that as your name is lifted up, people will be drawn to know you. And Father, thank you that there's leaders meeting together in all the different communities. And Lord, we ask that there will be a, a setting on fire in their hearts for you and for the nations. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. And on that note of revival, I'm just going to um, highlight a friend of mine who just raised his detail hand. Um, Michael Marcel. Uh, Michael, I I know we spoke earlier today and I was not going to highlight you, but you raised your digital hand and thank you and welcome onto the platform tonight. So this, this is your first time. Yeah, I, it took me a while to search the web to find out how to raise my digital hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. So, um, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I was going to introduce Michael maybe a week or so from now. Um, we were talking today, and I believe that this man, um, the Lord has used mightily to pull together information, inspiration, and insight on the revivals that have taken place in these lands in centuries and decades before. And Michael has pulled together something called Redigging the Wells. Is it Redig or Reopening the Wells? Uh, well, the website is yes. ukwells.org. ukwells.org. And how many places um, have you uploaded onto your site in terms of places where revival have taken place or things have happened? Over 4,000. You've put up 4,000. And so um, when I heard that, my, my mind was blown. And how many of these places have you visited to pray over these wells of, of things that have happened in this land before? 
1,500. You've, you've visited 1,500 of them. And yeah. um, you've written, um, um, you've created uh, videos and um, backdrop context to this. And so, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, invite Michael back, and I'll let you know when. And we are go I'm going to interview you properly, and we're going to do some research together on this platform. Um, I mean, lots of people have gone on holiday for, 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 for Easter today, so I want everybody to come back first. And I want us to talk about revival, what has happened before, why they happened, the principles of why they happened, and what we're pressing into to see them happen again in our lifetime. Hallelujah. And what people have been praying for decades to see and to engage and to and to embrace as heaven pours out over us a season of great grace for the church to be revived. Thank you. It's really great to have you, Michael. Thank you, Jonathan. Bless you. And 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 so what I'm just gonna before you go, we're, we're just we're just this this is the prayer we're gonna pray, and then you will round it up, Michael, for us. The prayer we're gonna pray is we, we remember the wells of Abraham that were filled up by the Philistines. And um, um, uh, uh, Isaac had to reopen those wells. And let's just pray for the grace to come upon the church to reopen the wells of previous generations and for God to give us the, um, the tools, the weapons, um, the the well digging implements for us to redig these wells and for for us for this these wells to be reopened and for the blessings that came upon these yes. revivals to come upon us in this land. Let's just pray, reopen the wells. Let's just prophesy the reopening of wells. in the name of God, God, we stand your God. Come to the Lord. Hallelujah, Father God. Jesus' name we pray. Um, Michael, could you just, could you just read, could you just um, round up that prayer for us, please? Heavenly Father, we just thank you um, and, and, uh, and brought revival awakening to this land. And I pray, Lord, that you will show the people of this land how to reopen those wells, show them which wells to open, show them how to do it. Let there be a hunger to to, uh, to go around the nation again and reopen these incredible uh, wells which you have brought before, Lord. The, uh, the the Welsh revival, the 1859 revival, the Hebrides revival, the the many many revivals that you've brought, Lord. Just do it again, I pray, and let us redig these wells to bring your glory here again to our nation. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Michael. I will be in touch. Trust me. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I know that there are so many challenges in our land, um, challenges across the nations. And so I just I just feel led to open up a, a space for us to just pray 
Hallelujah. And you can pray in the spirit. You can pray in other lang in other languages. You can pray in your native language. You can pray in English. You can pray in tongues. But I want us to pray over Israel. I want us to pray over the war in Israel and the Hamas war. I want us to pray over, over the U Ukraine Russia war. I want us to pray over our monarchy and the issues around the, 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 the royal family. I want us to pray over our government and over this land. I just I, whatever as the Lord leads you, hallelujah, to just release from your spirit out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I'm going to count down to three, and we're just all going to just open up our 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 our
Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. We're rounding up now, so I'm going to just ask three or four people at the most to just round up, just pray um, out what you what you what you're burdened with, and just release it um, right now um, as we as we round up in this session of praying over the land, praying over the nations, and um, praying as we're led um, by God to pray. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. So, um, uh, uh, Valerie, you're going to go first, then followed by um, Andrew, then followed by Dobrila and. Uh, don't think I can go beyond um, Isaac. Uh, so it's going to be just the four of you uh, because of time. And I just wonder if we, if I beg you to just try to keep it uh, as brief but sharp and anointed as possible. Over to you, Valerie. Father God, in Jesus' precious name, we just want to decree your sovereignty in this time, Father God, because this is the biggest revival ever worldwide. It's exciting, Father God, in Jesus' name. We just bless Israel. We pay peace to Jerusalem, peace around your borders, Father God, in Jesus' name. And Lord, she's surrounded by her enemy and the enemy, Lord Jesus, uh, we know they're, um, it's Islam, Father God. But um, Father God, in this nation, in the nations, we take authority over those spirits, Father God, that will seek to destroy Israel and then attack the Christians, Father God. We bind the spirit of Haman. We bind Isis, Osiris, the moon god, Father God. Everything that's connected with it. We bind, we forbid to work over Israel, over the UK and other parts of the world, the sheep nation, Father God, around Israel. And Father God, we just ask for a release of your Holy Spirit, the release of the spirit of truth. Father, release of the church to wake up. We decree over the church, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And we just pray for that unity and oneness of spirit. Father God, the church needs to arise. Just stir us up to arise and shine, Father God. Lord, just move upon us. And we're just excited by it, Father God. And we're going to be alert, Father God. And we're going to, we're ambassadors, Father God, we're called to uh, go forth with the gospel. So I'm calling forth in the spirit realm to speak over the churches of the United Kingdom, to arise and shine and to go up and to go forth, uh, mm -hmm. to speak the gospel and to share the gospel, fill the great commission because Jesus is going to come back as a result. So, Lord, wake us up to that reality in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Sister Valerie. Um, over to you, Andrew. On my heart is the rising generation, the young ones, Lord, who've been so often taught and handed down utter rubbish. And I pray, Lord, they'll turn to that side and they'll turn to you the way, the truth and the life. I thank you, Lord, on Sunday, even in our tiny population, we're having nine young people baptized in the sea on Easter. Amen. And so far this year, we had 17. And it's not just our fellowship. Their group is called Undivided, and may they be the body of Christ, not denominational barriers to come down. Undivided, may they bring glory to you. May we see a mighty move amongst the young people throughout this nation. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Andrew. And now we're going to go to Dobrila. We've got just a few more minutes, so I beg you, please, let's keep this short and sharp but anointed. Lord, we pray for defence and protection of our realm and of our monarchy. Father, we thank you for King Charles' speech today, which, um, Father, exalted your name in his speech, Father, as the hope of our nation. We thank you for that, Father. We pray for the protection of his health, the restoration of his health and Queen Catherine and Princess uh, of Wales, Father. We pray for reconciliation and healing within the royal family, Father God, of all members of the royal family. Bring unity and bring salvation at such a time as this. We pray for our government, Father. We pray for counsel and wisdom. We pray for strategy in all departments. We thank you for this meeting in Whitehall right now. And we pray that, Father, you will bring clarity, clarity of, for wisdom. Uh, and we pray that reformers will rise and uh, that your voice will be heard across the land once more. And Father, I just pray, as I did last week when I was in Whitehall, 
for the fire to fall in the streets. We pray, Father, I felt the fire fall as I was prayer Amen. walking around the streets of Whitehall, as I was prayer, prayer walking around uh, the palaces. I just knew that God was there, that every foot that I took, God was going to honour that walk, that, Father, I saw the Muslims fall, fall in the power of your spirit. I saw revelations come upon every, 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 every unbeliever. Father, I saw them, I saw them fall. Let your Man. fire fall, Father. Let your fire fall. Cleanse this land. Bring revelation. Bring a mighty revival, Father. You are alive. You were risen from the dead. Every tribe, every knee shall bow before you. We praise you for what you're going to do. We pray for that revival fire. More Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Dobrila. But, uh, Brother Isaac, can you just, you can go on now. Thank you. We're run out of time. I'm sorry. We run out of time. You, you're, you're muted, Brother Isaac. You're muted. Shake it up. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we want to thank you. You are a merciful God, and your mercy is enduring forever. This very moment, Father, we declare in the nation of Haiti, Lord, you know what the enemy is doing. I declare the power of the blood, Father, to take over that nation. And right now, every demonic activity, we silence them by the blood of Jesus. And Lord, you send help, send help. Father, save the innocent people. We say thank you. This Easter, we cry out on your behalf for salvation in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Sorry, we have to we have to close because of we've run out of time. Um, I just have a very important announcement that Carl and the team want me to make as we close. And we I only have got a minute to do this, so they're going to be tearing their hair out. Um, but we want to thank every single one of you because we're, we're moving forward. We now have, I think, if we're going to add um, rugby and um, Scarborough, we probably have around 500 um, Gideons that are fasting and praying every day. That number is just going to increase. So we're going to ask you to, to, to pray and to identify people for your day that you can include from your church your family, your network, add them to your day, get them to register so that we can begin to encourage the church. We're going to be taking this message um, to Pentecost. So from next Sunday and um, next week, we're going to inform you what the Lord has told us to do towards Pentecost and towards Christmas, um, shine your light. Um, they're going to put a, a link into the, into, the chat, into the group chat. And this is what we felt the Lord was telling us to do that as many of you that can set up standing orders, as many of you that can, your churches can set up standing orders um, to stand with the, um, the National Day of Prayer. We want to build a war chest. As I said, we need to build a war chest. We need to create some videos. We need to, we need to write some books. We need to send out some free materials to the church. We need to begin to prepare for Pentecost and then begin for Shine Your Light. So we need the funds to push this and make this happen. But we don't want to make this platform about money. So please, um, the, 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 the link is in, in the group chat. We'd like you to click on it right now. And as the Lord leads you um, to please go ahead and just be led of the, of, of the Lord to set up a standing order to, to give us the Lord, uh, the Lord leads you. Get your church to get behind us. Get your denomination to get behind us. Set up a standing order of 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds as a church, as an organization, and as a, as a business. The Lord bless you as you do that right now in the name of Jesus. We've come to the end, and I just want to say to you a wonderful, blessed, and anointed Easter over this weekend. May the, may the blessings and the, 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 the grace and the message of Easter be poured out over you your family, your loved ones, your local church, your um, your your neighborhood, and your extended family in Jesus' mighty name. Can we close the way we normally close for those of you on X, on on Facebook, 
and on YouTube as well as on Zoom. I'm going to count down from three and we're just going to say the Lord's Prayer. Three, two, one. Go. Amen. 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 Bless you. Bless you. Yeah.